Hello and welcome to yet another interesting video about creativity and stuff. Oh, sorry about the finger. Anyway, this video will be focused on the fact that artists are not born talented and damn good at art. This is one of my older artworks. I made it around seven or so years ago. As you can see, the paintwork is not that great. It's chaotic. When I made it, I didn't even wait for the paint to dry to continue painting. So, compared to how it was originally going to go, it just didn't go as planned, as you can see. Because it's all incoherent and stuff. Like, look at this. I specifically remember not waiting for paint to dry. If I were to recreate this painting, it would look much more clean and crisp, unless I wanted to do something chaotic like this again. In which case, it would look even more chaotic, probably. What I'm getting at is that people aren't automatically good at art. They, don't, they aren't just born with the skills to make the frills and the fans all like, say, like, Look at this great, amazing work of art! I sure wasn't born that way. I was terrible for a very, very long time. I hated my art. I drew something, hated it. Drew something, hated it. Drew something, hated it. But then, as time went on, I finally found my own art style, at least when it comes to creating furry characters and humans in a bus style. I found my style. And that's and when I started refining it. That's when I finally had my own style. I was solidifying that. And even before that happened, about a year or so before, I would re... No, actually... Yeah, I literally went from not ha hating my art to not hating it so much. Because I decided to... Because... You know, people like Ralphie from Ralphie Was Here Studios changed my perspective on things and other stuff. And also, being a part of furry fandom really also helped me out. And I even started showing some of my artworks to my fr family and stuff, which helped me become a less socially awkward person, which is absolutely wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful that I became a less socially awkward person because of art. That's enough about personal experience. Let's talk about other people's experiences. Because I know a lot of artists, and they've improved a lot. A dear friend of mine, known in the furry fandom, known as Pepper Jack, has gone from making his first fursuit to making more fursuits. He's done amazing. And not only has his... Costume making improved. I've seen it happen over the past two, two or so years. But his digital artwork has improved drastically too. Because it used to be, you know, a little bit derpy, a little bit lopsided. You know, that sort of thing. But as he kept working on it, he just got better and better over time. Because art is not something you were born good at. Yes, we're all born with creativity. And then society pretty much drains it all away for most people. And leaving, only leaving just a little bit left. Just a little bit to enjoy watching animations and stuff. But not enough to create something, right? How scary! Creating a work of art that is your own creation. How terrifying! How terrifying for society! How dare you! So, yeah. We are born creative. We are born curious about the world. We're, there's so much we don't know when we start out in this life, this world. But as we grow older, we start learning more and more things. And biases and socialization affect how we see the world. And art is just one part of that. One part of growing and learning. You can't just be born an artist master. You can be born with the inclination towards creating art, but you cannot be an art master by simply being born. It's not like 
old money people who just get born rich. No, no, no. Artists aren't born good at art. Artists are born with creativity and they also later learn and most likely retain the drive to create. That's what separates artists from the general population. And that is why art is not something you're born good at. I can show you so many examples of my old art that are just painful to look at. But also funny. It just depends on your point of view. And then there's my boyfriend. His art has grown a lot too in the past three years that I've known him. But it's become, you know, like he's gotten better at doing the fur, the ears, the noses. He's just gotten so much better at doing furry artwork in the few, almost few years I've known him. And I've seen my own artwork improve, although it is stagnated because I've been drawing less since 2021, but once I get more back into drawing, I'll start improving more again. Right now, I'm very much focused on writing and stuff. That's not going to change for a long time, if ever. And that's your video. Thank you kindly for watching. I hope this motivates you to continue arting or start arting if you aren't doing it already. And it helps you understand more of the artist's experience because that's what I want. The pe for people to understand each other. And there we have it. The end.